Okay, so Apple is officially on a two weeks release schedule for iOS 16.2 betas. Today we get iOS 16.2 developer beta 2. Now as per usual, if you're in the public beta testing program, you'll most likely see this populate on your device within the next 24 to 48 hours. So make sure to check back under software updates. Now this one comes in at approximately 779 megabytes. That's always going to depend guys on the software that you're updating from and the device that you're currently using. Of course, in this video, we're going to go over everything that I've noticed so far that's new within iOS 16.2 developer beta beta 2. Now as always if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates of course don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. And now the first thing I'd like to talk about is other software that Apple has released as per usual. Today we get iOS 16.2 developer beta 2 for the iPhone. Of course iPad OS 16.2 beta 2 is available for the iPads as well. Mac OS 13.1 beta 2 is available for the Mac. Watch OS 9.2 developer beta 2 is available for the Apple Watch and of course TV OS 16.2 developer beta 2 is out for the Apple TV as well. Now let's take a look here at the build number here on the latest OS. So if we go here to software version, as you can see right there, it is 20C. 5043E. Now keep in mind this software is slated to be launched towards mid December. So we're looking at at least three more betas, maybe an RC before the official release. So if Apple continues on a two weeks release schedule, we may see another beta on the week of the 21st of November. If Apple switches to a weekly release schedule, the next beta should come on the week of the 14th of November, which it is what I'm expecting to happen here. After this beta, I think we'll go on a weekly release schedule, but we'll have to wait and see. There's still major features still to roll out with iOS 16.2, such as the emergency SOS satellite communication feature, which is a feature that it's supposed to be coming with 16.2 we'll have to wait and see we still have no glance of that as of yet now i want to talk about a few bugs here within the software first number one i've noticed that gps delays have been fixed and number two if you had an issue where you launched the camera from the lock screen and you couldn't exit back until you locked your device this has now been fixed on 16.2 developer beta 2 so i'm happy to report that now once i launched the software after updating i've noticed that the actual responsiveness of the software is just a lot better it's more fluid fluid is a lot quicker. I was kind of surprised immediately how fast the software is responding on beta 2. So it's something interesting, something that I wanted to note here. Now, speaking of new features, I do want to mention there's two new things I've noticed so far, or one that I was told about and one that I've noticed. Number one is that 5G is now enabled in beta 2 for India. So if you're in India, I would like to hear from you in those comments down below. Is 5G enabled for you on your iPhone that supports 5G. If you do have an iPhone that supports 5G, I would like to hear from you in those comments down below. I've got a few reports on Twitter via DM that 5G is now enabled with beta 2 in India. And on the lock screen, we have something that's new here as well. So if we go into customizing here, and we add a new widget to the lock screen. Apple continues to add new widgets. Last week, we got the new sleep widget, right there, sleep tracking widget. Well, this week, Apple has added a new health widget. Now, this one allows you to track and monitor your medication directly from the lock screen. And this one is entirely new on the latest beta for iOS 16.2 developer beta 2 and I'm happy to see this because I do have a few family members that I were actually hoping for this to come to the iPhone and it is here with iOS 16.2 developer beta 2. Now we're still waiting on major new features as I mentioned and we're still anticipating Apple to add the emergency SOS satellite communication feature. I mean it looks like this will be the software to support this. Apple did say it will be coming in the fall if this software is to be released towards mid-December that kind of covers that time frame so we're still expecting that. Other than that of course make sure to stay tuned for my follow-up video where I take a deeper dive into the software. I'll come back and report performance, batteries, any additional bugs or new features that I come across. In the next 24 to 48 hours, I usually come back and share additional details. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. Thank you for watching today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.